welcome to Jamaica. I can definitely tell you that um, the future for Jamaica looks optimistic and bright if all of these things that have been suggested by um, Bobby Montague in the Jamaica um, House of Parliament, I am telling you, man, those who have never enjoyed living in Jamaica in the 1980s, when you could, um, you could go anywhere in Jamaica without anybody asking where you're from, why the time is like we're going, to, going back there and the brain drain will stop. As you know, this tunnel was um, started in all because of um, the assault on the police and the propaganda machine that has promoted the criminals in Jamaica. Yes, man. If this is the first time to the channel, please click on the subscription buzz button. It doesn't cost a cent, a dime, a penny, a pound, or a dollar, or even a ruble, Russian money. It is free. It won't clog up your phone memory or cause any privacy issues. Like the video. It can reach, so it can reach others. And share the video with your family, friends, neighbors, even your ears too, and Facebook. Yeah, and you know, if you have Twitter, post it on Twitter too, and you understand, share it. And most important thing, please comment below. I will respond in due time. Yes, man, welcome to Jamaica Young Police Channel. We're an experienced and certified detective is about to educate you with facts and not propaganda or hyperbole for the government and its minions. In Jamaica, we do not have a criminal problem. We have a corruption problem. I do believe that criminal must live in fear of losing their lives and not the law-abiding citizens. I believe in preemptive strikes as the United States military has been, has been doing when dealing with terrorists that have been terrorizing the American people. What we have in Jamaica are terrorists that terrorize the communities and drive fear into the hearts of the law-abiding citizen. I am not a fan of politicians, but I can tell you this. This is the first time since um, 1999 or thereabouts that I can say that Jamaica seems like it has a future that is optimistic if these plans and suggestions are enacted and become law, as it would benefit the law-abiding citizens by pushing, them, pushing back the murderous gunmen who knew the days of them of the law-abiding citizens in fear for their lives are numbered. They are the ones who will have to think twice because one of, one of three citizens who are like law-abiding will be armed with a legal firearm to defend themselves and their, com and their communities. The man of the moment is none other than Robert Bobby Montague. Yes, man, the member of parliament from St. Mary, who boasts that his uncle is a Oberman. Bobby said it's best when he's asked in the Minister of National Security, Dr. Orius Chang, to amend the Firearm License Act of 2022 so that all Jamaicans who do not have any criminal records upon application are issued a license of firearm permit within 45 days. I hope there's a special provision for former police officers and police officers. Two, it would be nice to see the firearm license authority reissue the firearm license and permit of former police officers who are living overseas because they have given their heart to the Jamaican people by putting their lives on the line for the people. If these suggestions are implemented into law, it would prevent another young man like gospel DJ Papa San from being arrested and charged with illegal possession of firearm because the state refused to issue a license firearm permit after the Klansman gang killed two of his brother in the La Vega city, St. Catherine. I want so just listen to what Bobby Montague is saying, and then you know, we get back to it. Time for us to arm the society, any decent law abiding citizen with a clean police record, no mental issues, or domestic violence conviction, should be able to acquire a gun permit within 45 days of applying. Police statistics shows 
that over the last 10 years, 29 firearm holders have been murdered in Jamaica. 29. In addition, a total of 627 combined major crimes, including shootings, robbery, prayer, larceny, have been committed against firearm holders. Madam Speaker, there are 45,000 licensed firearm holders in Jamaica today with 167,000 guns. But remember that persons have multiple licenses, multiple guns, plus there are security companies and gun clubs. There is an average of 30,000 firearm holders over the last 10 year period. Therefore, some 0.09 or 1% of licensed firearm holders have been murdered over a 10 year period, or an average of 0.01 per year. At 627 combined incident, incidents of crime against firearm holders, it shows that only 2% have been affected by crime over the last 10 year period, or an average of 0.2 per year. The figures clearly show that if you are armed, criminals don't mess with you. The criminals have more advanced weapons than the police in many cases. The police and the army are held at bay for hours sometimes in a shootout. Yet we are calling on law abiding citizens to join the fight against crime. What must they join with, Madam Speaker? Them two long hands, two stone and a cutlass? Yes, so at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we must um, give what is due to Caesar. And we applaud Bobby Montague for his rhetoric. You know, when he's telling the government, what do you want the decent and law-abiding citizens to do in the fight against crime? Yeah, you want them to use um, stone and cutlass? That don't work, man. Hey, the clansmen, them gang, you know, and all those guys, you know. Them have big guns, so we have to have guns, uh, you understand, F for the law-abiding citizens to protect them lives, you understand? So that's when a, when a gun boy pick up his gun, say, man, commit a crime. In, he, he knew, or, or they knew, in their art, that the chance of going back to their skittle or their currency in Isle is slim to none because they're going to get dust out. And guess what? We love it, man. Yes, man, we love that rhetoric from Bobby, man. You understand? I'm more right, man. Gun boy, hey, gun boy, if you get dust out, you understand? But you have to understand, still doing it. You have to understand the people who are behind the carnage, you know, who have helped contribute to it, you know. And we applaud Bobby Montague for standing up for the decent Jamaicans. Yes, man. It's time now we have these gunmen on the run. You understand? Let them know that yeah, the more gun we have, the less crime. Because you understand what I'm saying? So um, they need to get rid of this guy, um, Shane Daniel. Because we're paying security for that guy. You understand? Give back the firearm. Um, issuance to the police you understand but i want you to continue to listen 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 to the hen that is um this video all right blessed Lord. and what they must do with those madam speaker the long wait for a license sometimes criminalize the process police sources say a used nine mm firearm can be had for two to three hundred thousand dollars while the decent law-abiding citizen has to suffer in waiting. It is the long wait sometimes that helps to corrupt the system. We must level the playing field and give the advantage to the law-abiding person. Of course, people will say in objecting that Australia recently disarmed their society and they are okay. And the reason why Australia disarmed its societies is because of mass murder. You understand? A guy having a white guy having a bad day. Let me take up a gun and go and kill a one whole heap of people. We don't have that kind of problem in Jamaica. And white people culture is totally different from black people culture. In Jamaica, you know, we have a corruption problem. You understand? We don't have a crime problem, it's a corruption problem. So we need to arm the citizens. Yes. Any time, just like even the other day when the um we, we, we you know we saw the the video with the guy that um, they went to the bar to rob in Mandeville. And what was it? When I can get dust out him on the ground with the 99 and Because gunmen, you know, I can't tell you this you know, as a farmer detective, you know, as a street cop, you know, gunmen are cowards. You know. 
big time. Big, big, big time. The man who can kill people who do not, who cannot challenge them. You say, what? Uh, let me tell you this. If you use five of them, you say once, two shot fire, all of them turn full. Because the mongo can kill people with, who are unarmed. You see people who have gone, although are five of them, hey, from the first two shot bursts, every monster attack with themselves. That's why most of the time them get killed by the police. You understand? Especially the police with it. You understand? With you, as a marksman. Boom, boom. You understand? You lick them, man. And you understand? And when you shoot, yes, man. You aim to the torso or the head, man. No, you understand, to send them home, you know, dust them out, man. That's how we love, we love to see when these gunmen, man, when them, you know, when them meet, get them parados, man. They meet them, then they're going to meet the maker. You want to take life? Okay, fear. Once you want to take life, you give up, the, you give up the right for you to live. So that's how we want it. So I want you to continue to listen. It's, it's great, it's the best news out of Jamaica. Is the best news is believe you me so listen but australia is not confronted by the factors that beset us they don't have our historic crime rate nor the amount of high powered illegal weapons that is everywhere in jamaica this arming works for australia it's fit for purpose for them let's wish them well and get on with a fit for purpose solution for jamaica's problems this way when a criminal is about to break into your house, he has to pause and wonder how many guns are in that house. When they are planning to thief a farmer's crop or animals, they have to wonder if the farmer... All right. The, um, uh, yes. You know, you he did you heard what Bobby Montecuda said, um, you know, about um, somebody breaking into your house and they don't know how many guns in there. All right, I am going to tell you about a story uh, um, with some Chinese on Waltham Park Road, um, close to Beer Farm Road. They have a whole seal, you know. And some men from um, Tel Aviv, down in South, South, um, South, you know, you understand. Um, they have one of the one of their friends at work there, and they set up a rabbit to rabbit Chinese people. Them first, you know, they came in the nineties, you know, nineteen ninety-five. Once be a police here. But you know, it's just that yeah, what Bobby is saying, and I'm telling you, you know, it was four of them came, you know, to rob, you know, the Chinese people, you know, you understand? And I tell you, you know, it's the five Chinese inside the you know, and all of them have gone, you know. And you know, the four gunmen, they liquidly four gunmen, them, you know, one shot each to the head. And there were customers inside here, and not one of the customers got injured. They licked them away. So they decide, you know, the gunmen them in Tel Aviv decide to, oh, they're going to retaliate and kill the China them. The China them live on the premises. You understand? And they come back, you know, because one of the bo one of the um, guy that died, that was killed, is um, one of the Dan brother. And they came back this time, five of them. And he said, this time they come, it's T P headshot. And I, I out, and guess what? A businessman, I'm just going to, his name is Rory. I mean, I'm not going to tell you his name. Five. So they killed nine robbers, nine gunmen, and get nine guns, and it was nine shots. So what Bobby Montague is saying is true. You understand? Because these guys, you know, if they had known, they, they, they knew that, you know, that before, you know, the four, the four that went there, you know, it was headshot, you know, so they know, you know, they deal with people who are marksmen and markswomen, you know, because two of the shooters were women, you know. And the good thing is that once we a police, make sure that the people them get back them going to see him there and everything. You understand what I'm saying? Dust them out in, in space of a month. And nine of them, them let nobody don't try to rob them Chinese there again. So what Bobby is saying is true and it works. So I want you to continue to listen. Boy, we're happy, man. We're happy. What is happening right here and them thing that, you know, Jamaica have a future and them thing with this suggestion by Bobby. And if they implement it, I can tell you, man, I'll be the first one who will be sending people that way. You understand? Not to Bahamas. So continue to listen while we're on the journey against the criminals in Jamaica. Has a gun and what are the chances of getting shot? We must give back the advantage to the law-abiding citizen. Right now, the criminals have the advantage. Some will say if you open up gun license, criminals are going to thief people gun. 
Madam Speaker, right now, criminals can get bigger and better guns than what the legal system permits. Furthermore, the instances of a licensed gun being used in a crime is almost non-existent. It is time, Madam, to arm the society. Madam Speaker, we must resume hanging without delay. Yes. A quick analysis of the murder figures shows that for the 25 years from 1962 to 1987, some 7,447 persons were murdered in Jamaica, or an average of 297 persons. Yeah, so, you know, as usual, we have to pass it right here because, you know, most, you know, most people, I'm not going to say Jamaican people, are, and most people are old because, you know, people in the diaspora, um, people in Africa, people in the United Kingdom, I even see people in um, New Zealand and Australia watching, um, watching, um, checking out the channel, which is good. You understand? And what you love, you know, yeah, um, you, you know, is what Bobby is saying and everything there. It's years we haven't heard any Jamaican politician um, talk, give you this kind of rhetoric. You understand? So the thing is, I am optimistic about the future, but you know, politicians, they love to sell with you, you know, you understand? So we have to do a the video because, um, and you stand by for part two. Yes, man. So if you are a Jamaican in the diaspora, in Jamaica as a law-abiding citizen, you're supposed to feel optimistic about the future for Jamaica. Not worrying about to play Domino and Lodi and stuff like that. Because every man who would be playing Lodi or Domino, you understand? They'll be harmed to the teeth. So anytime one of those dirty boy come with them gun, you know what them gun get? Boom, boom, boom. Gunshot man and mash up them, mash them up, man. You understand? And restore. Peace and tranquility to Jamaican, Jamaican people, man. And people have confidence in our system. Make dirty boy. Make them, yeah, man, make them, make them run with our next country because Uncle Sam will deal with them. But we soon, we, we, we answer them too, you know, in that regard, you know. Yeah, man, thanks for watching for Jamaica Young Police Channel. Yeah, and the sweet part two is coming up.